welcome to a brand new episode of Chucky's Playground News. As always, I am your host, Mel Matt. So let's go ahead and get this episode started, shall we? And first of all, let's do some shoutouts like we always do. First of all, Spanking G, our awesome admins. Uh, Chug 105, awesome, awesome dude. Undead Punk, awesome dude. Timmy Valentine, great graphics designer. Dragon Prime, real cool dude. Witch, real cool gal. Mega Man, real cool dude. Sweet Face, real cool gal. And Bonnie Dolly, awesome gal as well. So all those guys and gals are awesome and amazing. Be sure to check out the site if you haven't already. Be sure to join up if you haven't already. It's a great place to be, an awesome place to hang out. So be sure to join up if you haven't already. And what are you listening to right now? Uh, I've been listening to quite a few bands of Judas Priest, um, Operation Mindcrime, Metallica, um, Green Day's new song that just came out, you know, things like that. Um, Green Day's new song, it's pretty good. Um, it's sort of like, like their early kind of albums, kind of like that dookie uh, kind of sound, but it also kind of reminds me of something that they would do when maybe like a um, 21st century breakdown, so uh, the new album comes out in October, so I, I am looking forward to it. And Orphalus's new album, Orphalus's new album, The Birth of Infinity, um, Orphalus is this really underrated death metal band. They just released a new album, The Birth of Infinity. If you're into death metal, definitely check it out. Um, this band really needs to be more well known. Um, great band, so definitely check it out. And Equal Ribrium's new album, Armageddon, I was listening to that as well. Um, it's basically like a folk metal, kind of symphonic metal kind of album. Uh, it, it was okay. Nothing too special, but nothing awful as well, I don't think. Um, so it was a pr- pretty decent album. And what are you currently playing right now? Threads still going on strong as ever. And what are you watching right now? Um, this week I've actually been watching a lot of superhero movies. Um, I don't, I don't really know why. I just, I don't know. I just, I don't know. Like, I just want to watch superhero movies, you know. Uh, so I watched the first few X Men movies: um, X Men One, X Two, X Men United, and X Men: The Last Stand. Um, really liked the first two X Men movies. Um, those were really good. Um, the Last Stand, it was okay. I think they sort of tried to put a bit too much into it. Uh, it just felt kind of unfocused in a way. Um, so I didn't quite like the X- X-Men The Last Stand as much as the first two, but it, it was an okay movie on its own. Uh, I also watched Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice, or whatever it's called. Uh, is it called Dawn of Justice? I'm trying to remember. Let me check. How I want to say it was called Dawn of Justice. Let's see. Yeah, Dawn of Justice has it. So Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. Um, I did not like it at all. Like, I really didn't. Um, way too long for my taste. Um, it was about two and a half hours. And I just... I, I, I can barely do two-hour movies, honestly. Like, let alone two and a half. Like, I don't know. Like, you know, like... I don't know. I I just can't, I don't I don't do two and a half hour movies very well or three hour movies or really long movies like that. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. It's just I don't know. It's just I'm just not into those kind of long, long epic kind of movies. You know, um, you know, like it had its moments. Like everything with Batman in it was it was pretty good. I didn't care so much for um, the Batman character killing because that's not what Batman does. Um. But yeah, I think Ben Affleck was pretty good as Batman. Um, certainly ex- exceeded my expectations. I because I was expecting him to like suck in that movie, but he was actually pretty good. And uh, Jeremy Irons as Alfred was pretty good as well. Um, everything else just sucked, especially Justin, Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor. I thought he was the worst part of the movie. Um, but yeah, the fight scenes were were good. Were good. Just everything just seemed real, either really forced or just unnecessary or just it, it just felt like a really overstuffed movie, you know. And like uh, if you if you watch Screen Junkies, um, Honest Trailer, 
um, for Batman vs. Superman. They basically describe it as a really good Batman movie stuck inside a terrible Superman movie. And that is the, that is the perfect description uh, for this movie, in my opinion. Um, you know, like, way too... I don't know, I just did not like it at all. Like, if people if people liked it, uh, that's cool. But for me, I didn't care for it so much. And Movie Mayhem, that's a podcast with Spanky G. Definitely check that out. Really cool podcast. And what are you doing right now? After that, going on as strong as ever. And W2K17, we've been talking about that on the site as well. Um, uh, the, the second week of the roster reveal was much better this time around. Um, they unveiled a couple of new people like Braun Strowman and Charlotte and stuff like that. Um, let's see, who else did they unveil? Let's, let's check really quick. Let's just hold on, hold on for a minute. Just bear with me for a minute. <laughs> um, we end up getting... Baron Corbin, uh, Daniel Bryan, Edge, Finn Bauer, Hideo Itami, Triple H, The Rock, uh, you know, just guys like that. Big E of the New Day, Bret Hart, so definitely a better roster reveal than the previous week. And we also got some more details about it. Um, we we can in, we can fight backstage and in the crowd again, which is great because uh, yeah, that that was one of my favorite like parts of the original SmackDown games, like the old school SmackDown games on PS1 and PS2 was you could fight, you could fight in the backstage area. So that's going to be pretty cool. Um, no showcase mode this year. Um, there's an improved W universe mode, improved my career mode. Uh, it's going to be a lot bigger roster than um, last year. I think it's going to be like 150. Um, superstars in it, so that should be pretty cool. Um, so yeah, this should be a pretty interesting game. Hopefully it'll be good. And Star Wars Rogue One, we got another trailer for that one. We've been talking about that on the side as well. Um, it looks pretty interesting, I think. You know, um, it looks pretty solid. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be as good as, you know, Force Awakens or any of the other, like, main movies. But for, like, a spin-off movie, like, a, sort of like a prequel spin-off movie, because it takes place, like, right before Episode 4, but right after Episode 3, so. But, yeah, it should be pretty decent for what it is. And Chucky and Chucky 7. Uh, allegedly, Alterian, which is the company that makes the Chucky dolls for the past couple of movies, uh, I think they made it for Seed and Curse and... Those movies. Um, apparently, a picture is leaked of what Chucky will look like in Chucky Seven. Uh, this was revealed by um, the Facebook group Pride of Chucky. It basically looks basically like he did in Curse, really um, unstitched. Um, I think the hair might be a little bit different. I might need to like. Um, I'm, I might do like a, um, a before and after thing on, on the screen right now, um, I don't think it really looks that much different, um, the fact that he's going to be unstitched might be a bit interesting, um, I don't know how that's going to work, I think it depends on where the movie is set, like, um, uh, if it's going to be a set in, in an asylum, and, the, and and there's a good possibility that will, considering that Nico was um, committed at the end of Curse, I think there's a good possibility it, was, it, it will take place there, and if that's the case, and I think a Stitch one would be a bit better, because everybody's crazy anyway. And I, I could easily see them like doing a scene where Chucky somehow invades... Um, like Nika's cell or something like that. Uh, Nika tries to get attention of one of the guards, and when they come in, Chucky disappears. You know, I could I could easily see them doing that if that's the route they're going to go with. So yeah, pretty interesting picture. It, it definitely seems like they're going to. It's it definitely seems like they're about to enter production because it's been in pre-production for about a year or so. So hopefully this. Uh, picture of Weekend means that we're getting ever so closer to interim production of Chucky 7. And Child's Play 3, 25th anniversary, we've been talking about that on the site. 
on the 25th anniversary of Child's Play 3. Uh, it happens on August 30th. You know, on August 30th, it will be the 25th anniversary. And it really is just hard to believe that it's nearly three decades old. It's really hard to believe, you know what I mean? I, I don't know, like this movie, I don't know, the movie always just seems like, you know, 10... 10 years old, you know what I mean? Because I still refer to the 90s as 10 years ago, you know, that's no longer the case. All right, getting old. <laughs> but yeah, so, so that should be pretty cool. So that is all for Chucky's program news this week. Um, pretty long episode this week. Like, this is like nearly 11 minutes, actually. I wasn't, I wasn't planning for this episode to be that long, but we just had a lot to talk about this week. So, yeah, so that is all for this really long episode of the Chucky's Breakaround News. And I will see you all next time.